All right, here we are. Here's the aircraft that everybody's looking for at AirVenture 2022, the RV-15 prototype. Some real quick numbers before I forget them. They got just the preliminary numbers out right now. We're talking a 900-pound useful load, 2 plus 2 seating. I'll show you what that means in a minute. Capable of carrying a couple of mountain bikes with you. Um, what's that engine, Kevin, going to be? IO-390. IO-390, is that the same as on your 14? Correct. 50 gallons of gas. Minimum. Minimum. Let's go inside and take a look. So he's already got the Hartzell Whirlwind prop. There's your uh, 390 engine in there. 215 horsepower. Sprung steel landing gear, but here the gear pivots and it uses TK Tony Tony's uh, monster shocks inside. So there's four monster shocks in this aircraft. Two on each main gear, giving it about seven inches of travel with about five inches of, uh, of uh, shock movement inside the airframe. So those shocks are mounted up inside the fuselage. And back here on the tailwheel is a uh, four bar design trailing link four, four bar design so the tail wheel pivots up and down this way with another monster shock one of TK's shock or oleo shock absorbing systems mounted vertically in here which effectively eliminates tail wheel shimmy Behringer wheels and brakes the baggage door is going to go right back in here you got a full flying stabilator back here trim tab this is just for um, flight testing purposes only that you get these squared off edges to get the um, control harmony so that it's not too pitch sensitive with the trailing edge of this full flying stabilator large vertical tail huge wing area and all pop riveted pop riveted all the way through so it'll be a quick build style kit with all the holes drilled to the final size so there's no deburring and drilling you just clico it together and then snap it together with the pop rivets and that's pop rivets all the way through he's using a unique well it's not a unique airfoil but it's an airfoil that's not part of any of the other RV family so he's hoping for about this should be about a 140 knot cruise airplane. And they're advertising it right now to be able to get in and out of 400 foot strips. So they're not giving any specific data as to stall speed or landing distance or takeoff distance. These are 10 foot Fowler flaps with a 50 degree maximum flap angle. He's nicely, nicely machined flap tracks and they're actuated manually with that flap bar right there. Now this is a fuel tank that's in here just for flight testing purposes so they can move the center of gravity back and forth easier for flight testing. Of course this will not be in the actual airplane as this is a prototype airplane including the doors that pop off. The actual 50 gallons of fuel minimum will be located here in the wings like a traditional RV design. There's a closer look at the Behringer wheels and brakes. Let's see if we can get a, a look inside the cockpit. We'll have to wait in line here. Okay, so you're gonna have your typical stick controls two seats side by side here with loads of room for either a sling type seat you could put a you could put people back there but more ideally you want to have a lot of cargo space for things like mountain bikes and that sort of thing back there again this fuel tank is just part of the prototype and you'll go with your modern instrument panel just like that looks like traditional tow brakes right up there there's the pivoting point for the gear and those TK monster shocks are mounted down below the floorboards in here in the fuselage. Typical engine controls right there and here's the flap mechanism located right here. 
to manually raise and lower your flaps. Looks like you got electric trim right here. Very nice. And they talking to the Vans rep, they don't want to go with a bunch of leading edge devices or additional high lift devices. They're expecting enough performance out of this wing to not do that. <clears throat> and they they want to maintain a reasonable amount of visibility out of the front of this aircraft for reduced liability. So that's a quick look at the RV-15. The hottest thing here at Oshkosh 2022. They're lined up around the pattern here to come look at it. And they're going to be expecting to be able to get in line to start buying these kits in about a year. They've got to finish the testing with this prototype and they'll be ready for sales in about a year. The price will be, will hopefully be for the basic airframe kit in today's dollars right now, somewhere around the $50,000 range for just the airframe kit for the RV-15. Kathy, are you lined up to buy one yet? No, sir. I got me a car to come. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. Kathy brings up a good point. You either want to maximize your backcountry performance for short field, or you want to get to the backcountry relatively fast. I bought the Carbon Cup before this was even out of the paper drawing, yeah, right, so yeah. I'm all good. <laughs> It'll be two years before you can build it anyway. So we were a little... There was...